Ha sighed. Her colleagues were packing up their desks for the last time. Marion had narrowly escaped that last round of redundancies, so near summer holiday plans too. Joe will be lucky if he finds another job with three years before retirement, and his son is at university. What an awful time for him. Maven much younger is already going on interviews. Thank goodness her husband has a good job. With so many paperless offices, the paper industry is really struggling. More redundancies are forecast for next year too. Time for her to take stock and plan the future whilst she still had a job. For a long time, she had been wondering what else she could do as a backup plan. How could she safeguard her family against redundancy? She had survived it last year and again now. How much longer was her job safe? Jeremy and Cindy are still at school, however would they cope? She shuddered as she turned off her computer. She mused should she look for another job now? The paper industry is all she had known for the last 25 years and 10 years with this company. It was her life, her friends and colleagues were virtually all at the same company. She could hardly contemplate leaving them. With that thought she collected her things together, set up with goodbyes and left the building. The cold damp air made her shiver as the rain hit her face. Later that night, when the children were in bed, she sat with a coffee and again thought of her colleagues. How could she safeguard her family? Maybe she could start something online that she could do in the evenings. Could she be that organized, she thought. But what kind of business could she set up? At the weekend she would go to the library for some ideas or buy some magazines. With that thought she went to bed. Two weeks later, she was having coffee with her friend Jenny, and the topic of redundancies came up. Jenny agreed how frightening the future looked, and said that she had been worrying about it too, but had found a business that she had recently started. In fact she had found a selection of several different businesses ideas to choose from, all worked online. Jenny gave her the details to have a look at. Wouldn't it be great if they were both doing something similar and could help and motivate each other Marion thought. Jenny said she was enjoying working on her new business. She was getting so much help and assistance with the step-by-step -step plan she had chosen and she had already made one sale. It hadn't cost a lot to start and she had managed to put it on a 0% credit card interest-free for two years so plenty of time to pay it back. Jenny was sure with the way it was progressing she would also manage a summer holiday by the end of the summer. With that thought, Marion felt a little happier and said goodbye to her friend Jenny. As she walked home, she thought about the conversation. Working online would offer flexibility. Maybe she could fit it around her family commitments. All she would need is an internet connection and her old laptop. She would definitely take a look. After all, if Jenny could do it, so could she. She started to search online for possibilities, looking at YouTube, where she found many training videos and ideas. She also googled various keywords. Would she have sufficient confidence, she thought. If you are feeling in need of a confidence boost, take a look at it. I Can Make You Smarter by Paul McKenna, or an old favorite, The Truth About Success and Motivation by Robert Montgomery, or Super Confidence by Gail Lindenfield. Redundancy can happen to anyone, if it happened to you, what would you do?